Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, let's take a look at how Dorico automatically selects and loads sounds to playback in your projects. Dorico uses something called VST Instruments to playback your music. VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology and was developed by Steinberg in the 1990s. Virtual instruments and effects are software versions of real physical instruments and hardware effects units, such as solo violins or large brass sections, or they can be brand new sounds conjured by their creators. Virtual instruments might use recorded samples of actual performers, synthesized sounds, or a combination of both. These are then built into VST plugins, meaning they can operate inside of certain other softwares, including Dorico. A number of VST instrument libraries and effects are bundled with Dorico and installed alongside the main application. This is why it's important to install all components when using the Steinberg Download Assistant. Halion Sonic and Groove Agent SE are the VST instruments that ship with Dorico. And these other items, such as the Iconica Sketch Orchestral Library, Halion Symphonic Orchestra, and Olympus Choir Micro, are the sound libraries that are loaded by the players. Groove Agent SE is a dedicated drum player and uses the Groove Agent SE content and Jazz Essentials libraries to play back a range of acoustic and electronic kits. Several effects plugins are also installed by the application installer, offering things like reverb and compression effects that can be inserted into mixer channels. One of the big advantages of supporting VST is that it means Dorico can load other VST instruments and libraries produced either by Steinberg or third parties. For example, Note Performer is a library of orchestral sounds popular among Dorico users. You may well already own other VST sound libraries, and I'll show you how you can use those within Dorico in a later video in this series. Now, when you add an instrument to your project by creating a player in setup mode, Dorico will silently load a VST instrument plugin with a suitable sound preset. You can see which VST instruments have been loaded for a particular project by switching to play mode and choosing VST and MIDI. You can show the interface for a loaded VST by clicking on the E edit button. For example, if I look at this instance of Halion Sonic, we can see the sounds that have been loaded into the slots here that receive playback data on different MIDI channels. This is the tracks view. There is a track for each instrument in the selected flow. Selecting an instrument, choosing the track inspector and viewing the routing section will show you which VST plugin is being used for that instrument and through which port and channel. Dorico uses something called a playback template to determine the VST instrument and specific preset to load for each instrument in the project. The default playback template is specified in preferences at the very top of the play page. For many people, using Dorico's default playback template is perfectly sufficient for their needs. There are different playback templates that utilize all or some of the various instrument libraries, as different versions of Dorico, Pro, Elements, and SE don't necessarily include all of the libraries. And we've made it so that Dorico will load a sound for any built-in instrument you may add to your project. Now we know that Dorico uses information in a playback template to choose VST plugins and sound presets to play back the music for various instruments in your projects. Continue watching to learn how to take control of that process in order to make use of other sound libraries. The next video will show you how to replace Dorico's default playback template with one that utilizes Note Performer. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.